Alright, so in this video I'm going to be going through part number 8 in the model creation activity. A reminder that each box is half an inch. This part does include uh, a number of fillets. Part attack, part inches, hit create. New sketch. I'm going to start by creating this bottom block. Um, it is a box that is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, or three inches. I'm going to hit tab and go to that right side dimension. I've got a three inch by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four inches then. In the middle of that, I've got a circle. The size of that circle has got a one inch diameter, two boxes, so one inch. It's located directly in the middle. So I'm going to go from my right side to my center and be sure that that's two inches. And then it looks like it's located one inch from the front. So here's the front, it goes back one, two boxes. So that's one inch. I'm going to hit finish sketch, extrude this piece, it goes up two boxes or one inch. Now you're going to notice that my part. orientation is off here, right? I want to adjust my orientation so that this is now my front. So I'm simply going to rotate my view box to this point, right click, reset current view as front. All right, so now that that's my front, I want this corner right here to be that home view. So I go to that corner, right click, set current view as home fixed distance. Now no matter how I rotate this, if I click on home, it resets. The other thing you'll notice is that I don't have these fillets included. I'm going to use the fillet tool in the 3D function to now include here and here the size of that fillet. It appears to be a 0.5. And hit OK. So that's the bottom half. This top half now, I'm going to start by drawing it from the back side. So I'm going to rotate. Add a new sketch to my back side. I have what appears to be a rectangle that comes up. The size of that rectangle from the middle, I've got one, two, three, four inches, or four boxes, so two inches. And then to center it, it looks like I have two boxes on each side. So from here to here should be one inch. Here to here should be one inch. Uh, the height of this rectangle goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches. Let me verify that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches, which means that I need to go up three and a half. On top of that seven inches, I have a circle. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to hit extrude. And I'm going to extrude all three of these pieces, making sure they go onto my part. It looks like it does go on one inch or two boxes. I'm going to add a new sketch to this front. I'm going to use the project geometry to simply grab that center point because it appears this portion comes out an additional inch. So I can use that project geometry to grab that center point and draw a circle the exact same size. Finish sketch, click extrude, and bring this one out an additional inch. I've got a hole that goes right through the middle, so I'm going to add a new sketch to the front. Again, using that project geometry gives me that center point back again. The size of that circle is a one inch circle. Finish sketch, click extrude, click on the circle. We want to cut it out. And again, I can use that through all function to make it go all the way through. 
right? Last thing we need to do then is include these fillets in here, right? This location right in here. So I'm gonna click on fillet. The size of that fillet, it's got a radius of one, two, two boxes, so it's gonna be one inch. Click on that location and click on that location and hit apply. And that is part number eight on the model creation activity.